Hey, this is Lotus Comics Express. I'm here with Kyle Schmidt, which is notoriously awesome for being in Being Human, guys, and many more to come out. How you doing today, sir? I'm well, thank you. How are you? The legend himself. I mean, obviously. The legend himself. Well, I mean, you know, after 900 years, I would imagine that, you know, you have some mm -hmm. stories to tell, you know. Many, many, many stories. Most of which I can't tell because I don't know what your viewing audience or how old they are. Right. So, but yeah, lots of stories. Well, lots we, of time. What we actually like to start out doing is actually uh, I've got a, uh, you know, like being human, all time favorite, like I told you off screen. Yeah. Do you have some good stories that you could tell about, you know, working with Sam and, the, and just the yeah, cast? Yeah, of know, course. That, yeah. Yeah, I mean, working on Being Human was a great experience. Yes, um, Sam, Megan, um, you know, Whitwer, the family, you know, it was nice for them to kind of open up and invite me in, you know, as a guest star. So I think it's rare for that to, to happen so wholeheartedly. And, and, you know, they were a great team to be part of. Uh, I got skinned alive. <laughs> that was that was exciting and and rough at times. Um, you know, six hours of makeup before shooting, and then you know a couple hours to take it off after right. f after a long day. Um, but you know, the final product was was awesome, and it, you know, it was it was a fun experience to be part of. Very cool. Yeah. No, I mean for for everybody at home that saw you, on, you know, obviously being human and quite the other, you know, obviously all the other stuff you've done. Yeah. Uh, what, what I was wondering is for the, some of the brand new stuff, the transition for some of your older your older stuff is mm -hmm. a little bit different than the, some of the transition for your new stuff. Uh, very different. I mean, I had gone from doing Disney movies as a kid to um, a lot of sci-fi. Um, yes, sir. From you know, Blood Ties to uh, some horror films from Joyride 2, Fear Island. Um, Joyride 2 is one of my favorites too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Because yeah. I was like, yeah. wow, man, that's great. I mean, the yeah. acting was superbly amazing, and it was just enough where you kind of believe the storyline. Yeah. You well, know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was a good death, too. It was a, it was a hell of a good death. Um, and then from that, you know, back into, you know, being human, and then I did Copper, which was, you know, a period piece, 1864, uh, New York, the abolition of slavery, and... Um, than Lost Girl, and you know, you know, it's like right. the sci-fi world has always been great to me, and I, you know, I love it. I grew up reading comics, you know. So very cool. What is your favorite comic book? Wolverine. Yeah. Wolverine by all by oh, all time. Done, done, and done. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Mine's obviously Batman. I figured. Yeah. You're, you're a DC guy, I'm sure. I'm a Marvel guy. That's cool. We can duke it out. But I mean, Wolverine's amazing. You know. Oh, he is, of course. Of uh, course. So you're a big fan of the X-Men series, obviously, the movie series. Uh, itself, I am. Or? Yeah. 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 I mean. Yeah, of course. I mean, I you know, Uncanny, uh, yeah, you know, all the X Men's, Wolverines. Um, you know, I've got into Gambit series, Bishops, right. and, you know, and all that. So, yeah, Very I've been, cool. been following it for 25 years. So, also a comic book guy, so I can yeah. totally relate, exactly. man. That's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, you know, like Deadpool. I'm looking forward to that for next That'll year. That'll be cool. Ryan Reynolds you know? is doing some great PR for it. He's done a yeah. superb job as far as yeah. PR for that. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, as far as your new stuff, though, I mean, you've got some new stuff coming out, like, such as, you know, uh, Soul, Soul yeah. and what? Uh, 88. And 88, is, right? Um, so it's kind of got a, a kind of a graphic, noirish kind of spin on the film. Yes, sir. Um, that's a neat one. April Mullen directed that. Um, I think we're releasing in Canada. Um, in a few weeks, they've asked me to come back to do some kind of festival, I think, for it. Very cool. Um, Very cool. And we're on Amazon right now uh, in the States. You and know the release dates on Saul? Um, Christmas. It's looking like we're going to get a Christmas release. We're not sure if it's going to be in theaters or not yet. Um, it's a biblical film. It's about transition of Saul to Paul the Apostle. Very cool. Um, kind of an integral part of, you know, Christianity and everything else. Yeah. And, 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 a, and a heck of a character to play. I mean, that was a tough one. And, uh, no, you know, I bet. Because very you, cool. You've got to run by some, like, biblical kind of terms and all of yeah, that. So that's no. got to be pretty shaky as far as kind of a... Yeah, the dialogue very was, was tricky, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, very tricky. I bet you'll nail it, though, man. It was cool, man. I it mean, seriously. Cool. Yeah, I got, I, got a, I got nominated for a Canadian Screen Award for it. And, uh, Congratulations. Yeah, it was kind of nice. It's nice when you, you know, you pour your blood, sweat, and tears into something and... You know, sometimes, you know, you get a little validation from it. Trust me, I agree, man. I'm sure you do. I agree. <laughs> we sure do this do. for a living, and yeah. we run a promotion company, so yeah. I can totally, can, you know, putting your soul into something, I can totally relate exactly. to. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And you should always do that, regardless of what it is. As long as you love it, you should always be yes, sir. pumping yes, it 100%. Sir. Yeah. Well, I know you don't have a lot of time. 
But I do want to at least wrap up. Uh, is there a website that people can go to to kind of help support you as, a, um, as an actor? I don't, I, don't, I don't run a lot of uh, websites. I've actually just kind of been getting into social media stuff over the last year or so. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at I am Twitter at I am Kyle Schmid. Yes, sir. And through that, you can find my Instagram as well. No fan so. sites or anything like that. Um, there's a couple that some some fans run, yes, which sir. I'm always grateful for because they're you know sweet and lovely. But um, none, no official ones really. No. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Guys, this is Kyle Schmidt, which is amazing, <laughs> dude. This guy has done like almost everything from like vampires and obviously now getting into biblical bi biblical <laughs> roles such as Saul. Yeah. I'm super nervous, man, because, I mean, it's Henry, man, from, like, being human. How, <laughs> how cool and superb as a legend is that? But I cannot wait to see what he does next. Now, we always wrap up with one last question. If sure. you had a favorite superpower, being that you're a comic book guy, mm -hmm. what's your favorite superpower, sir? Oh. I mean, Superman's got all of them. That's just not fair, really. I know, right? Um, Batman doesn't have any. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know. Um, I don't know. I think I fly. I'd, I'd love to fly. Really? Yeah, man. That's mine. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's an easy Dude, one. That's, that's the one I pick all the time. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's an easy one. He picked my superpower out of all things. <laughs> all right. Well, yes, sir. Thank you very much for uh, being on the show. Sure, man. And um, we'll have some more details about Mr. Schmidt and Mr. Kyle Schmidt. And we will see you here next time at LotusComics.com. Come check us out at Facebook or at LotusComics.com, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.